Hi there, it's Nikki from Happy Hormones for Life. And <clears throat> it's two weeks, can you believe it, till Christmas. Um, I don't know where you are, but where I am, it's all snowy. It feels very Christmassy here. Um, and so I, today I thought I'd give you my tips on how to survive Christmas without piling on the pounds. Because we know that Christmas takes a massive battering on your hormones. And in return, your hormones are likely to give you a few gifts of their own, some extra pounds around your waist, a foul mood and zero energy come January. So what we want to do is enjoy Christmas without getting those extra gifts, right? So there are some ways we can do that. Firstly, I want to talk about the two things that are you know, blatantly obvious at Christmas time. One is stress. It's a very stressful time of year, especially if you're a woman with a jug juggling work families and all the massive extra things that uh, to-do lists that Christmas brings. And we know cortisol drives your blood sugar all over the place. It makes you irritable, moody, um, low in energy, messes with your sleep, but it also piles weight on around the belly area. And, and that's a really difficult place to shift it, as you probably know if you've had any <laughs> belly fat to shift. The second thing about Christmas is, uh, gosh, it's so hard to avoid the carbs, isn't it? It's a massive carb fest. You've got mince pies, Prosecco coming out of your ears um, and all those turkey dinners. The turkey's not too bad. It's the rest of it, isn't it? So, um, yeah, it's a it's a big temptation. All the alcohol. Uh, you want to enjoy it, but you don't want to be left up in January with a massive mountain to climb. So here are my tips on enjoying Christmas without piling on the pounds at the end of it. So, number one, eat before you party. So make sure you have a healthy, filling meal before you go out so that you avoid all those uh, carby sort of canapes and snacks. Lots of veggies, some good protein, some healthy fats should fill you up and give you plenty of um, sustainable nutrients to keep you going. Secondly, try and be the driver wherever you can. That's gonna force you to avoid too much alcohol. Obviously pick your events, pick the ones you want to be drinking at and the ones you're not that bothered about, make sure you drive or you're, um, you're alcohol free. Thirdly, don't stock up on all that Christmas food. You don't probably need it all. Buy what you need, keep the treats to a minimum for kids or the guests, because um, the more temptation you've got around in the cupboards, the more you're going to indulge. Fourthly, stay off the cocktails. They are loaded with sugar. Try red wine, less sugar, um, and you are much less likely to drink as much. Uh, number five, drink plenty of water on the same vein, especially when you're drinking alcohol because um, you, you want to keep hydrated and you want to min minimize the effects of the alcohol. And also the more alcohol, how, oh, the more alcohol you have, um, the, the, you know what happens to your willpower then as well. You start munching away. So try and drink a glass of water between each drink if you can. Number six, choose quality over quantity. So um, don't binge on Iceland's 10 for a pound party food. <laughs> if you're going to indulge, choose fewer good quality snacks and really, really enjoy them. Seven, eat well in between your meals or your events. Sorry, your events. So you'll make sure you're getting plenty of nutrients between them. And this should, should keep you on track. And then you can handle those indulgences. Number eight, stick with the program. Don't let up on your exercise or classes just because it's Christmas. You need to burn off those excess carbs and that's gonna help minimize the weight gain. Number nine, relax if you can. <laughs> I know that's really difficult, but um, with all this stress around, we're gonna crave more, more carby, sugary foods. So make sure you schedule in some relaxation time if you can, yoga, Pilates, meditation, relaxation tapes, music, walking, hard enough in the snow, but um, massage, try and get yourself a bath once in a while. Whatever keeps you chilled, because it's so important to do that. And lastly, don't write off the Christmas period and leave it to January to sort out. January is probably the worst month to do anything productive with your health. It's just your mood's not there. It's a really dreary month anyway, and the last thing you want to do is, you know, sort out the the problems that you've accumulated in December. So. Um, Easier said than done, I know, it, Chris, I love Christmas and I indulge as much as anyone else, um, but just try and keep that balance if you can because you don't want that mountain to climb in January. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, message me if you've got any worries about anything, nikki at happyhormonesforlife.com or we can have a chat and I'll see you soon. Take care.